Pro's Tip, brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. When you're trolling planers, fresh strip baits make a world of difference. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them. They're really, really easy. Of course, you need to start with a fresh bonita. Your first cut behind the peck fin here is going to be straight, just like this. And I go all the way down to the bone. And then, very carefully, you want to just fillet that bonita, pretty much like you would any other fish. You just take your time, you know, nice sharp knife. Get it all in there. And you'll notice that indentation of the stomach right there. That's where I'm going to try and just trim all of that meat down. Nice and slowly, just trim that meat. What I want to do is keep somewhere between an eighth and a quarter inch of meat left on the filet. That's what I'm looking for right there, about that density, about that thickness. And now what I'm going to do is actually just start cutting the actual strips before I shape them. There you go. And of course, depending on how large the filet is, you can get multiple strips out of it. That one's just beautiful right there. And I'm gonna kind of taper it. I want the end of that strip to be pointy, so it's got a little bit of flutter and swims, but I want it to be tapered nice and straight. And I don't know, I like all those edges to be really straight. Then what I do with the hole punch, or I should say an ice pick, just a sharp little ice pick. I know that my hook is gonna be inserted right in the center there. So I'm just gonna poke a hole right in the center. Like I said, the easiest way to do this is with that ice pick. Just drill a hole in there. And then the same on the top, this is where my rigging wire is gonna hold that bait in place. So I poke a hole. If you don't poke a hole and if you try and do it with the hook or with the wire, your bait's gonna come out all messed up. But what I really wanna show you is the difference between my strip bait, and this is a store-bought strip bait right here that I actually had in my freezer, and I wanted to just show you the difference. I mean, look how freezer burnt that is right there. And this is that stuff you're gonna typically get in a tackle shop unless you get lucky, and they literally have fresh bonita strips that they recently cut. But a lot of them are gonna be this dark, yucky, freezer burn meat versus that fresh, red, delicious flavor. You know, the odor, I mean, that's, that's natural. That's a fresh bait. So that's it, that's the whole process. Obviously, after you're done with one side, flip the bonita over, do the other side. You'll get anywhere from 10 to 12 strips from each bonita. You know, I don't like to freeze them because then you'll end up with this stuff. So try and use them as fresh as possible. And right there is the absolute perfect strip bait.